Though air represents only six percent of your body's elemental constitution, it is the most dynamic part of the element in terms of the transaction that happens on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. What kind of air you breathe is definitely important and that's well known, but how you breathe and how consciously you breathe is equally important. Especially those of you who are living in large cities, the kind of air that you breathe may not be in your hands. So it's good at least for a few minutes, take a walk in the park, along the lake or the river or whatever is available to you. Especially if you have children, it is important that you take them out at least once a month, far away enough from the city where nature is in reasonably pure state, where they can climb a small hill or walk in a forest or swim in a river, something natural to be in touch with nature and to do something where breath will be in a dynamic state. This is not just for aerobic exercise, because constant exchange of air is happening from within and without and the very intelligence in the body will take care of this, that when it senses the air is pure and alive, the way the body breathes is different, you can notice this and the exchange will happen, cleansing will happen within the system because breath per se is only one to two percent of the air transaction. The rest is happening in many other ways. So if you remain in pure air, it's important that you bring breath to a dynamic state with a certain activity. You don't have to do too vigorous an activity, just enough to see that you're breathing deep enough, slightly deeper than normal is happening to you for a period of time and especially for growing children, this becomes very important because this will greatly enhance the body's integrity and strength. But on a daily basis, if you're not able to take yourself out within the house, you can do a simple yogic practice called Nadi Shuddhi to cleanse the breath.